What is going on guys, it's Jeremy from Sartre Systems, and today we got another reflex track review to do. Um, this week, I will be doing the JT Compound SX Loop. Uh, a few weeks ago, I did the, um, the MX Loop, and then uh, a few tracks came out, so I decided to do those ones. Um, but this week, I decided that I should go back to the the uh, JT compound and review the Supercross track. So, just waiting for this thing to start up here. There we go. Alright, so right off the bat, um, same start as the MX loop. Um, Dragon's back right here. This is where it changes though, right here. If you guys haven't already played it, instead of going to the right, we go to the left and hit this sweeper. Then, it's a pretty wide open part of the track, but as soon as you get out of the sand and get into this hard packed stuff, this is where it gets technical. Um, those of you who have not played it, um, the Supercross track is actually really, really difficult to get the hang of. Um, it actually really, it took me quite a while to, uh, you know, get the lines dialed in, and, um, actually, when this track came out, or when this compound came out, I was gonna do the Supercross track route first, and, uh, I ended up having to do the National Loop, because, um, I couldn't get a hang of the, <laughs> the Supercross track. Um, it's, it's really tight. And almost kind of like it should belong in MX Simulator, if you guys have played that. Uh, MX Simulator, you know, the tracks are a bit tighter. The physics are a li little bit more realistic in that game. Um, but it just feels like it should be in that game. Uh, so it took me a while to get used to it. Um, as you guys can see, I'm still not uh, completely good at the track. But uh, it is what it is. And then... Right here, uh, both tracks use this part uh, for the uh, finish line, and then you go under the bridge, and then back onto the start straight, and then once again, hit the left or go to the left and hit the sweeper. Nice little scrub double. It's actually a pretty big jump, but you carry a lot of speed, so. Um, but right here, like, the wall double thingy, um, I usually just slow up and double it because then you get a really good drive for this section. Now, I want to know if it's possible to quad right there. Um, I'm sure you got to land that triple-triple, like, perfect. Um, but I have yet to quad out of that section. Um, and then once again, I know I touched on it, um in the MX loop review. Um, JT did an absolutely amazing job with everything on this track. The way it looks, you know, with the trees surrounding, uh, just everything. It just looks really, really good. Um, but JT has time in and time again, you know, just um, really revolutionized track making in this game. Um, he's done replicas, he's done, you know, the Rubicon, which was an amazing track, and then he, uh, he hits us with this, so very cool to see that he's uh, all in on this track making because um, custom tracks is what's keeping this game alive, I think, uh, with it being as old as it is. You know, everybody really looks forward to these custom tracks, at least on the PC version. Alright, here, I'm going to try to triple. Actually, I, I almost quadded. Um, I just wanted to triple just to show you guys another line, but um, just kidding, I guess. I'll take this inside right here. I don't think it's really, yeah, see, it's too small, I think, to really do anything with it. And then you kind of just got a double double. I mean, towards the end of the section, it may be a little quicker, but uh, I think the outside is the way to go still. I'm 
gonna blitz this section. See, I'm still not like... I don't really have the hang of the track completely. Um, I'm really interested to see what the lap times would be for somebody who, you know, actually has this track down and um, is actually really, really quick at the game. I know I'm not terrible, but um, I'm nowhere near as fast as some of the guys are in this game. Uh, their speeds are ridiculous, especially on the custom tracks. Um, I know I've touched on it a lot in the past, but... Oh. Okay. Um, I used to play this game fairly competitively, and uh, I was one of the top guys, but when it comes to these custom tracks, it's a whole new game for me. Um, which is why I like the custom tracks, and I like to see everybody, you know trying to produ produce content for us. Um, you know, I, I highly respect all the track makers. If I like the track, if I don't like the track, you know, either way I respect them. Okay. I tried to uh, triple again, but that's how I crash. I don't think I'll be getting that line for you guys. I just really want to show you that other line. Um, actually, I don't think I've taken it. Um, besides like my first few laps on the track. Another thing about this track, though, is um, I think it would be awesome for racing, honestly. Like, yeah, it's challenging, but I feel like it's challenging for everybody. Uh, so it kind of, like, levels out the playing field a little bit. Uh, there's not as much of a gap in s the skill level, almost. Kind of, like, sets everybody back, but I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I'm not uh, not amazing at the game. I'm just kind of trying to show you guys some different lines here. And you really need to get the drive right here, otherwise that's going to happen. I'm going to case the finish. That was really weird what I did last lap on that bridge. My tire like caught something and just died. This is probably my favorite jump on the track. I don't know why. Um, I really like the sweeper before it, but I'm not even going to try to get that triple. Um, my bad for not taking this other line. But uh, I think this right here is the main line. It's tripling all the way through. little scrub that's the part where I think the other side may have a bit of an advantage because you don't get popped up in the air like that oh boy bad run through the whoops nope we're actually really good uh oh let's sing the rhythm section stop Really struggling here this last little bit of the track. Get a run here. There we go. Alright, so that's uh, the Supercross loop. I have now showed you guys both the MX loop and the SS SX loop. I'm sure you guys have played it, but if you haven't, um, the link to the compound will be in the description below. Um, installation is a little bit different than most custom tracks because um, it will permanently be in the game like uh, it's a DLC piece that's what he says in the description of the track um, so basically it's gonna be like head shake kills uh, grassland switch yard box car like those tracks um, it's gonna be permanently in you won't have to worry about overriding it with a different track um, so, like I said, the link to the compound will be in the description below. Uh, he does have directions on how to uh, install it, so um, that's in the download as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for this review. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave it a like. 
comment on the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what the lap times are like. Like I said, I'm not sure what the fast guys are running. I'm sure it's a lot quicker than a 136. Um, but I'm just interested to see what, you know, the top guys are really running. Um, and last but not least, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because Kellen and I really do appreciate it, guys. But uh, I will see you guys next week for another Reflex Track review. See ya.